of water. Object class. The subject is a humanoid female actress or approximately six years in age. Formerly known as she was given the role of the character Milka Man who would serve as a performer for this exhibition. Took her roles very seriously and did all that she could to get into character. She would sometimes get so into character that she did not stop even after hours. This has resulted in several complaints raised about which has started to negatively affect our company. Several missing persons reports and violent episodes have been attributed towards in her role as Milka Mian. As such, the company has requested a full psychological evaluation of As a part of your duties, it is expected to conduct this interview during the evening shift shores to determine if there is a way to help her break character. We expect a positive report. Stage 1. Begin the test by exposing her to irritating stimulus recording one. Clicking pause may help you but this is not guaranteed. An interview? With me? Huh, sure. I'm Plover. I ain't that special really. Just a new culinary magician in town. <laughs> magician in town? What the mean? Missing dates? No, can't be. <laughs> dates? No, can't be. I mean, she has a meaning stick. I mean, she has a mean exterior, but I bet you've never seen her. Well, I haven't either, but I'm sure within that thick shell of hers, friendly shell of hers, friendly and bright soul. Dangerous? No, no way. The most you'll get from her is your money's worth of cake, and then some. Cake, and then some. Of course. Yeah, of course we're rivals. She sure as heck knows it too. She's gonna get all three courses from me. All three courses from me in our next culinary show. Me in our next culinary showdown. You can bet on that. An interview with me. Interview with me? Huh, sure. I'm Sure. I'm Clover. I ate that Test completed. Stage 2. Begin the test by exposing her to confectionaries. Press to play the tape again when you are done. Um. Um. Test completed. Stage 3. Prod the actor to maximize her feeling of fullness and take note of her reactions. Your safety is not guaranteed. Really? Just a new culinary 
a magician in town. What the mean? Missing dates? No, can't be. I mean, she has a mean exterior. <laughs> I mean, she has a mean exterior, but I bet you've never seen her. Well, I haven't either, but I'm sure within that... <laughs> but I'm sure within that thick shell of hers is a friendly and bright soul. Dangerous? No. Dangerous? No, no way. The most you'll get from her is your money's worth a cake, and then some. Yeah, of course we're rivals. We're rivals. Sure as heck knows it too. She's gonna get it too. She's gonna get all three courses from me in our next culinary showdown. You can bet on Down. You can bet on that. An interview with me? Huh? Sure. I'm Clover. I ate that. Test completed. Stage two. Begin the test by exposing her to confectionaries. Um. Um. Test completed. Stage 3. Prod the actor to maximize her feeling of fullness and take note of her reactions. Your safety is not guaranteed.
Test completed. Stage 2. Begin the test by exposing her to confectionaries. Press to... Um. Um. Test completed. Stage 3. Prod the actor to maximize her feeling of fullness and take note of her reactions. Your safety is not guaranteed. Results have been recorded. Congratulations. Now, get back to your post. Hi, and welcome to Carusa Corp's basic training. Here you will go over some of the standard protocols to help you manage the busy nights ahead. Pay careful attention and make sure you stay in view of the cameras at all times. The big boss herself is watching, so try to put on a good show. Okay, so first up, check your flashlight with the right mouse button. Great, everything seems in order. So, next let's get you familiar with your surroundings. As part of our mission to ensure employee comfort and to prevent heat or moisture damage to the exhibit, all rooms are maintained at a steady temperature at all times. Above you will see an air conditioning vent, which you can use to feel for any abrupt changes and record for maintenance. The latch is a little loose and they are aware of that, but give it a little wiggle and you can hold it shut yourself. If you ever find the need to, Try inspecting it by using the left mouse button. Great! No spiders or rats up there, I hope. I heard the last place had a bit of a rat infestation. Uh... Anyway, to leave the vent, just move over the edge of the screen and give it a click. Awesome! Now, you'll notice that there are two hallways that run either side of you. Let's start by looking over to the left by clicking the mouse button to take a look. Wow, it's pretty dark down here. I'll have to have a word with maintenance about that too. But hey, at least you can use your flashlight. Nice. It's much less scary when you can see stuff. Of course, things tend to echo down here quite a bit, so you'll probably hear things before you see them. I would recommend keeping an ear out so you don't get startled by anything lurking in the darkness. If you do see something, remember, you can disorient it by rapidly flashing your light, which should either scare it away or buy you enough time to hit the button on the side of the wall. Yep, go ahead. Give that button a click. There you go. See? State-of-the-art industrial strength panic room doors. Nothing's going to get through these. Unless you run out of power, of course. Try not to use them for too long. Otherwise, you'll use up all your power pretty quick. Now, return back to the office by looking over to your right and clicking with the left mouse button. You're a natural at this! So, the right hallway is more of the same, so we can skip that part of the training. The computer in front of you, on the other hand, is more essential. So, this is your monitor, which is connected to the camera network throughout this facility. It's a pretty big place, so I'd recommend actually visiting every room, or you'll be here all night. Use your left mouse button to access the PC. There you go. Now, I'm sure you've seen those jewel heist movies where the criminals get in through the vents. So these were installed with those crafty intruders in mind. 
It's always good to check on them every now and then. Okay, so at the top right corner of your monitor, there's also an option for a web camera, so you can see yourself. The back room behind you is empty, but sometimes we store stuff in there, so you can take a look there too. Now, we know the night shift is no fun without a little entertainment. While the company firewall is rather strict on the content you look at, we do have an in-house streaming service, which runs from time to time. Feel free to check them out as well as test out the other buttons linked to certain exhibits. This truly is a mobile command station for you to use. I recommend playing around with the tools until you feel comfortable with them. Now, the first two exhibits we have for you tonight are for... Mitsuki and... Milkamine. Milkamine's actress is a little... eccentric. She tends to just waltz around the place and may try to enter through your left. In keeping with her character, just flash the light at her until she goes away. I swear, some people are just too dedicated to their jobs. Now, for Miss Suki, she's designed to teach classes on inflation dynamics and has a particular affinity for the balloon in Exhibit 2. If you want to play with her a bit, deflate it and watch her go pump it back up. Oh well, God. that should be all for your basic training. Have fun! is sure to make that clover jealous. What a star. Hi, and welcome to Carusa Corp's basic training. Here you will go over some of the standard protocols to help you manage the busy nights ahead. Pay careful attention and make sure you stay in view of the cameras at all times. The big boss herself is watching, so try to put on a good show. Okay, so first up, check your flashlight with the right mouse button. Hello? Great. Everything seems in order. So, next, let's get you familiar with your surroundings. As part of our mission to ensure employee comfort and to prevent heat or moisture damage to the exhibit, all rooms are maintained at a steady temperature at all times. Above you will see an air conditioning vent, which you can use to feel for any abrupt changes and 
recorded for maintenance. The latch is a little loose, and they are aware of that. But give it a little wiggle, and you can hold it shut yourself. If you ever find the need to, try inspecting it by using the left mouse button. Yep, it's right there above you. Just look straight up and tap it. Great. No spiders or a bit of a infestation. Uh, anyway, to leave the vent, just move over the edge of the screen and give it a click. Awesome. Now, you'll notice that there are two hallways that run either side of you. Let's start by looking over to the left by clicking the mouse button to take a look. Nice! Much less scary when you can see stuff. Of course, things tend to echo down here quite a bit, so you'll probably hear things before you see them. I would recommend keeping an ear out so you don't get startled by anything lurking in the darkness. If you do see something, Remember, you can disorient it by rapidly flashing your light, which should either scare it away, or buy you enough time to hit the button on the side of the wall. There you go! See? State-of-the-art industrial strength panic room doors! Nothing's going to get through these! Unless you run out of power, of course. Try not to use them for too long, otherwise you'll use up all your power pretty quick. Now, return back to the office by looking over to your right and clicking with the left mouse button. You're a natural at this! So, the right hallway is more of the same, so we can skip that part of the training. The computer in front of you, on the other hand, is more essential. So, this is your monitor, which is connected to the camera network throughout this facility. It's a pretty big place, so I'd recommend actually visiting every room, or you'll be here all night. Use your left mouse button to access the PC. All right, on the bottom left, you'll see all the cameras. Every exhibit is on display, so you should be able to see them all to make sure nothing goes missing. These items cost a bundle, so please try not to touch them yourself. These cameras go literally everywhere, so try clicking on the vent toggle and you'll see what I mean. There you go. Now, I'm sure you've seen those jewel heist movies where the criminals get in through the vents. So these were installed with those crafty intruders in mind. It's always good to check on them every now and then. Okay, so at the top right corner of your monitor, there's also an option for a web camera, so you can see yourself. The back room behind you is empty, but sometimes we store stuff in there, so you can take a look there too. Now. We know the night shift is no fun without a little entertainment. While the company firewall is rather strict on the content we look at, we do have an in-house streaming service, which runs from time to time. Feel free to check them out as well as test out the other buttons linked to certain exhibits. This truly is a mobile command station for you to use. I recommend playing around with the tools until you feel comfortable with them. Now, the first two exhibits we have for you tonight are for Miss Suki and Milkamine. Milkamine's actress is a little eccentric. She tends to just waltz around the place and may try to enter through your left. In keeping with her character, just flash the light at her until she goes away. I swear, some people are just too dedicated to their jobs. Now, for Miss Suki, she's designed to teach classes on inflation dynamics and has a particular affinity for the balloon in Exhibit 2. If you want to play with her a bit, deflate it, and watch her go pump it back up. Well, that should be all for your basic training. Have fun! Thank <laughs> you. 
Case number 9140112. Object class. The object before you is a cardboard television, which appears to have been drawn by a child. Gazing into it from the side with the buttons scribbled on appears to reveal a sort of pocket dimension only visible to a select few. Some report that a woman exists within this pocket dimension and if seen, is considered to be extremely dangerous. Subjects who have witnessed her experience extreme statements, as well as a growing sense of paranoia. If you do encounter her, resist any urge to panic. Match any changes you see on screen with the buttons on the side to prevent any further temporal anomalies from occurring. Failure to do so may see the pocket dimension expand into our reality. Please record your experience for the museum exhibition. So, 
it says there might have been a breach in our firewall on the computer. Pop-up filtering isn't working, so if you see any, cross them off. We can't deal with any more people falling for these. I swear to God it's making corporate quite paranoid. Oh, and if the phone rings in the night, make sure you answer the call. Just don't talk back. Okay, so Crucia is one of the more dynamic exhibits. I don't know what it is, but the model goes missing roughly every hour. No one knows where she goes each time. Or where you could end up if you don't find her. Doing business with you. You want to know something? I'm like, oh, if I find her.
last more than 20 seconds on this new diet. <laughs> One easy trick. Just a little bite. That's my whole body. 